The Ilingwezi community in northern Kenya have come up with an inspirational way of living with the wildlife on their land. James Munyugi of the Northern Rangelands Trust outlines the reasons why the project began. About 70% uh, of all the Kenya wildlife is outside protected areas. And the meaning of the literary meaning of that is that 70% of all the wildlife problems is outside parking reserves. And that, of course, poses a lot of threat to human life and, and survival of man. And I think uh, this program is all geared towards reverting that, in ensuring the wildlife problem is turned into an opportunity so people can survive through wildlife-based enterprises. In the Ma language, il means people, and in Gwezi means wildlife. And this defines what the community project is about. Here, the Maasai have learned how to conserve wildlife and make a living. But in the past, this area was prone to aggressive poaching. The few remaining animals fled for their safety, leaving virtually no wildlife in the area. The Maasai were also affected. Traditionally, cattle herders, life was becoming more difficult for them due to cattle rustling. So they decided to work together as a community to manage their land in a way which would protect both themselves and the wildlife. They employed a security team of trained Maasai game guards from the area and installed a radio communication network. The result was that they were able to protect themselves from poachers and rustlers while the animals felt safe enough to return to the area. You know, in the beginning, the elders of Ilingues used to spend their nights on top of hills to watch over cattle rustlers and bandits who might hit any time. But today, since they employ security, elders have time to, to, to sleep in the house. You know, they have been able to employ a security network. They have a radio communication with the Lewa and, and the police and Kenya Life Service and the other relevant bodies. And, and I think that has been success. Realizing that the presence of wildlife would attract tourists, the community built a lodge. Owned and managed by the Ilinguezi people, it is Kenya's first eco-lodge. Tourists from all over the world come here to see the wildlife and natural beauty of the land and learn about the Maasai culture. The naturally built bandas, or cottages, provide panoramic views of the now thriving habitat, as well as allowing tourists to enjoy the benefits of seeing animals up close. The money that tourists pay to stay at the lodge has enabled the Ilinguezi community of over 400 families to do many things. A lot of this money, of course, go into supporting children for, to go to school and paying bursaries and, uh, and possibly supporting health care, maybe paying hospital bills for mothers who are sick or who have a problem. And I think that, that has been seen like a lot of success. Why any Profits from the lodge pay for the further education of the Maasai's children, something that had previously not been possible. James Ole Kinyaga of the Ilinguezi community explains. I'll say that uh, in the old days, actually, if the kids pass the exams, they don't really get to go to the university or uh, high, high schools because of the, uh, you know, they're really expensive. But now, it's a guaranteed that after your school, You'll, you'll get a really big backup from Ilingwezi because money is there, guaranteed, to take you all the way to where you, 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 you'll reach with your education without any problem. Like now, our general manager is a kid from this area. He grew up in this area, went to school in this area. And then uh, after his high school, he went to Nairobi for a university. And now he's back to our area now. He's back to his community and he's very proud to work in a community. And the great thing is that everyone now that we have here, they're all from the entire community. So that side of education is really superb now. The Ilinguezi community hope that other people can learn from their success. Everything we do must be closely linked in conservation. People must appreciate that wildlife is important and they must appreciate that if manage, they manage the natural resources, it manages them. And, and I think there's a very interesting Kiswahili saying in Tanzania that is very relevant to what we do today. And it says in Kiswahili, chunga masingara yaku chunge. The literary meaning of that is take care of the environment, it will take care of you.